Are you serious? Oh my god. famous snacks here in North Dakota. Never been to one. Brent and I are gonna give it a try though. That is a classy joint right there. And she gave you a compliment, Shaggy. It's pretty good. So far, snack, good. We don't have our food yet. I'm telling you, this thing is gonna be the best burger we've probably ever had. Coming out of North Dakota, snacks. Just rolled into camp here, North Dakota. We're out here on the western side, I'll be chasing muleys. And it is the 3rd of September. It opens tomorrow at noon. So, game plan is we're gonna unpack. I mean, we are filled to the brim in the Jeep. <laughs> so we're gonna unpack tonight, get the tent set up, and then probably maybe have a beer or two and then crash, get up in the morning and start scouting. <laughs> To the brim. I think we got enough stuff. I told you it was packed. This is packed. That's packed. As you can see, that hole is packed. Front seat's not too bad. <laughs> we got a lot of work ahead of us. season opens in a couple hours so we're gonna get in here glass for a little while and probably head back to camp and eat and shoot a few rows and it'll be game time. We just slept in for first evening sit. Totally different spot that we've sat all day. There's actually some egg fields behind us. We're hoping the deer kind of want to filter out of these bottoms and up that way. Maybe get lucky and there's a drainage ditch right here. That kind of looks like maybe they'd use it to filter up that way. Otherwise, we're just going to try and glass one up for, for the morning or even tomorrow night. So another good looking spot. Just got to hope someone wants to play our game. Well, that's probably gonna wrap up opening night here, Western North Dakota. Pretty slow to end the day, but no complaints. We're back on another year of it. Day number two here. Beautiful morning. We're just getting up to the top of our glassing spot. We're gonna see what day two has in store. It's supposed to get real hot today. But not until like mid to early afternoon, so we should have a good morning. They're gonna bust up into there. This is gonna work here, boy. I think today it was in the 
60s tomorrow. It's a high of like low 60s. So we should be able to run and gun most of the day. Weather should be optimal. That's gonna be our day that hopefully we can get on one and get lucky. So we're gonna run back to camp, fill the bellies, get some rest, and we're gonna be ready to grind most of the day tomorrow. Check her out. In between all the bugs that are trying to fly in there too. And you can't forget dessert. Storm boy! Ready to weather the storm, eh? I think we're good. I got faith in the old TP. I ain't I ain't scared. TP? We got our newest floor install. Electrical tape. Had one patch. Hopefully we don't wake up and float. Good thing is we're both on cots, so we should be out of the water, but our bags might not be. We got a little wet in the teepee last night. Not too bad for how much it rained. It rained for like 12 hours straight. Well, actually more than that, probably 14. It's just stop, stopping now. We had to move campsites. As you can see, we are pretty filthy from this morning trying to move everything. So we're at the laundromat drying our sleeping bags off and our pillows from last night. And then doing a wash, load of wash. And we'll be back after it. Oh, we just got set up in our glassing spot for the evening. We're tucked in a row of corn. But we can see it for a long ways. There's one good, really good draw that comes out of here. There's a lot of fresh deer sign along this back edge of this cornfield. We can see a long ways, so if we have to, we can kind of move up and down this field depending on where we got to get to to cut them off. They were moving pretty good last night. We seen a couple bucks drop into some of these draws. We're gonna dive in there today and see if we can't get lucky, spot one and watch them bed. And make a play on them. It's supposed to be nice all day, sunny skies. So today's our day. We got feeling good, confident. A lot of the pressure's moved out. And now it's our time to go in there and kill one. We just crested this rise. We're trying to get, get to this high point trying glass of stuff we were last night. We think we're in the draws that them bucks came out of last night. Crested this draw and there's a mini gym up there. Probably like 80 yards, bedded up. We're gonna try and get up on that top. See if we can't get one. We just looped around, dropped all our stuff down this hill here. Out in front of me are those bushes that I think we can get to. They gotta be just on the other side of this, if that's where we believe them to be. There's another buck bedded closer. There's another buck bedded closer just this way of him.
couple steps left. You should just stand up and give us time. Ready? You ready? Oh, I gotta go more. Draw them. He's right there. Right there, he's done. There he is, first ever mule deer down in Western North Dakota. He's nothing huge, but hey, we've been grinding for five days, public land. Went through an absolute rainstorm last, or yesterday in the tent. Just a whirlwind tour, slept in like 28, 29 degree temps last night in the tent. And we came in here this morning, spotted a different buck with this one and um, made an awesome stock, got within 40 yards of him and he stood up and center punched him and he didn't go 40 yards but could not be more happy first time out west I have not even been filming out west let alone hunting and to put down one first trip nothing better do it with a good buddy just tops the cake so we are headed back east a little ways back to what uh, whitetail camp and we got a couple days yet there and uh, hopefully Brennan can Slam a whitetail. Whitetail camp, here we go.